Hi. Now, in this next part of the question, we're told that a second train Q completes the same journey in the same total time. And the train leaves the first station accelerating uniformly from rest until it reaches a speed of V meters per second, and then immediately decelerates uniformly until it comes to rest at the next station. And what we've got to do is sketch on the diagram above a velocity time graph which represents the journey of train Q, and then find the value of V. So what's going to happen is that for Q, it's going to start at rest here, accelerates uniformly, so it's going to be a straight line going upwards, and then immediately decelerates back to the point here where it's become stationary again. Now, we've got a, essentially a triangle in here, but when we draw our triangle, we've got to realize that the area under the graph represents the distance covered. And both trains are going to cover exactly the same distance, so the areas must be the same. So it's no good drawing a triangle where it goes up to here and down to here, because the area underneath this triangle, if you can imagine it, would be less than the area here. It's got to be a triangle that goes from here above the other graph and then back down. Now I'm not suggesting that this is exactly where it peaks, okay? But um, essentially what we're looking for is a triangle here that is above the, or well, the vertex here is above this line. And at this point here, okay, this, if I projected it back, would be V. And this is the graph for the train Q. Okay, so how do we go about now finding the value of V? Well, the point is the areas are exactly the same. The area under the graph for Q is exactly the same as the area underneath the graph for P. So let's try and find out then in order to get that area, I've got to find out the length of this base of the triangle, okay, which requires finding this time and this time. And we can get that from using the areas of the triangles as being the base times the height divided by 2. So if I consider the first part here, okay, then I've got that the area represented by the 300, okay, is going to be equal to the base, which we'll call a time period of T1, say, okay, from there to there. Then it's going to be 300 equals T1 multiplied by the height, which is 30, and then divide that by 2. Half base times height then. And 2 into 30 is 15, so therefore I've got 300 equals 15 T1, and if I divide both sides by 15, T1 equals 300 divided by 15, which is 20. So I've got that time period, okay? Now we need to simply go on and try and work out what this time period is. So suppose I call that time period, say, 3, T3. Then, if we do much the same kind of thing again, let's just come down here, what we've got is that the area of this triangle, 360, okay, equals the base, T3, times the height, height being 30, and divided by 2. Again, area of triangle, half base times height. So 2 into 30 is 15, and so you've got 15 T3 equals 360. And if I divide both sides by 15, T3 turns out to be 360 divided by 15, which is 24. So 24 seconds across that. So that means that I've now got the total time. Okay, the total time taken let's just put it down here, the total time is going to be equal to T1, which is 20, plus the 28, and then plus T3, which is 24. So adding that up, what do I get? 
I get 72. 72 seconds then to go from here to here. Now I can think of the area of the triangle here for Q. So if I consider that, I know that it's going to be half the base times the height. And remember, this height here, let's just mark it on. Let's just put it on, say, with a dotted line down there. Okay, That height there is going to be V, Okay, because it reaches a speed of V. So the area of the triangle okay, is going to be the base, which is 72 units, times the height, V, divided by 2, and that has got to come to the total distance covered. And we found out in the previous part, or we were told, that it was 1,500 metres, 1 1.5 kilometres. So that's going to be equal 1,500. So if I times now both sides by 2, I get 72V equals 3,000. And then to get V, I just need to divide that 3,000 by 72. And that turns out to be 125 then over 3. All right?